Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North. Today I'm going to show you how to do punch needle with yarn. Let's get started. For today's tutorial, I'm using a no slip embroidery hoop. For foundation fabric, I'm using monk's cloth. The punch needle I'm using is the Oxford number 10 regular. I'm going to be punching with this bulky wool roving style yarn. I'm going to put fray check on the edges of my fabric to keep them from fraying. You could also do this with a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. Separate the rings of your embroidery hoop. Center your piece of monk's cloth over the inner ring. Loosen the outer ring and press it down over the inner ring, securing the fabric. Partially tighten your hoop and then begin pulling the fabric tight all the way around. Tighten it a bit more and then keep pulling until the fabric is drum tight. Now I'm going to apply the fray check to all the edges. Monk's cloth unravels like crazy, so be sure to secure the edges in some way. Now we're going to thread the punch needle. One of the great things about the Oxford punch needles is that they're super easy to thread. Insert the yarn into the beveled side of the needle, and then you're just going to pull it down through the channel. Pull a little bit on each side of the yarn until it's seated all the way down in the channel. Pull the yarn back so there's just about a half an inch sticking out of the tip. To start punching, you're going to hold it straight up and down and push the needle down through until the handle hits the top of the fabric. Flip the embroidery hoop over and pull the end of the yarn out to the other side. Pull the yarn back until there's just a small amount sticking out of the needle. Make sure the channel is facing in the direction you're going to punch. Carefully pull the punch needle up and make sure the tip of the needle doesn't leave the surface of the fabric. Slide the tip of the needle up about a needle's width and then punch again. This is going to be the outline of my shape, so I'm making my stitches extra close together. This will keep the edges of your design neater. Here's how the loops are looking at this point. To turn your work, keep the punch needle punched into the fabric and turn the entire embroidery hoop. Then twist the punch needle handle so that the channel is facing in the direction you're going to punch.
Continue punching until you've outlined the whole shape. Now it's time to fill in the shape. These stitches will be spaced a little bit further apart than the outline stitches were. Continue punching around in a spiral until the entire shape is filled in. Offset your stitches in kind of a brick pattern to avoid bald spots on the other side. Here's the view from the side. When you're finished punching, cut the yarn even with the loops. Hold the cut end of the yarn down with your finger and pull the punch needle out. Trim any long bits even with the loops. If you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like. Stick around for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching!